Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another weekly ramble video. This time, another kind of personal one, like we did last week, the whole motivation thing. And lots of you really enjoyed that, and I really enjoyed reading your comments on it. Actually, uh, hit home on a few of them, um, which was really just like, it was just nice to see the response. I didn't expect that, I wasn't sure if people would be like, shut the fuck up Tyler, no one cares what you think. I don't know. I don't know what that voice even was, to be honest. Uh, anyway... Yeah, so that was really cool to see, and this time I want to elaborate on some things I mentioned last week, and I've wanted to make this video in, in some form or another, just to kind of chat to you guys, have a discussion, um, in particular about what I do in, with, like, what I study, and what my goals are, I talked last week's ramble about how I'm studying film and all that sort of shit, and yada yada yada. But I want to talk about like, kind of my story as to why that is, uh, why I want to do what I want to do, how I've set goals for myself, um, and how I became pretty much the person I am today, essentially, in, in a professional nutshell, I guess. Uh, so, uh, the, the beginning of the story, I guess, uh, is I was six years old is when I decided I was like, I want to make movies, or I want to be involved in making movies in some way. I didn't know exactly whether I wanted to direct or anything like that. I didn't know what what that entailed at all. I only really understood what making movies was when this occurred, and the first time I saw it, I fell in love with it. Uh, so I was... Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, the first Lord of the Rings film, had just come out, and I... Heard, everyone was talking about it. It might be on DVD, so maybe I was seven, or it was before I was seven. But it's like it finally came out on DVD, which back in the day used to be like fucking six months after the movie uh, was in cinemas. And everyone was talking about Lord of the Rings, this new big fucking massive thing. And my parents watched it, and my brother watched it. Uh, and I remember because I wanted to see it because everyone was talking about it. And they're like, no, you're too young. And I used to be scared of fucking everything. I used to watch movies and fucking shit myself. Um, monsters and stuff. And they're just like, no, there's monsters in it. You won't like it. It's too adult. You're not allowed to watch it. Go watch fucking Ants. I remember exactly what I was watching. I watched fucking Pixar, Pixar's Ants. Or was it, maybe it was DreamWorks. Is it DreamWorks or Pixar? I think DreamWorks did Ants. Oh, no. Hang on. It wasn't Bugs Life. It was, yeah, it was Ants. Yeah. Um, not that that matters at all, but... I was sitting on the other TV and I was watching Ants while my brother and my parents watched Lord of the Rings. And I remember I kept getting up and like looking. And the, I remember glimpses of shit, like glimpses of uh, Gandalf or glimpses of like weird characters. I was like, oh shit, I want to watch this so bad. I want to see it. What's everyone talking about? And I, re I reckon this went on for a little while because I feel like... I kept begging my parents to watch it, they kept saying no, and I reckon they'd watched it with, like, their friends, or people had been over and watched it, like, I'd seen it on TV, like, four or five times, I was like, I want to fucking see it, and I begged my parents, I begged them, and begged them, and begged them, and they said, fine, but, you have to watch the behind the scenes first, so you know that the orcs, or the monsters, they're all makeup, they're not real people, because I was a little scaredy cat, um, and I was like, fine, whatever, just any, I, I would have said yes, like, yes to anything just to watch Lord of the Rings. So I watched this behind the scenes, and I, I don't know if it was the first behind the scenes of a movie I'd seen, I have no idea, but like, I felt like it was the first time I knew that, oh shit, you know, that's, that's how they make movies, so these awesome stories I get to see, that's how they do it. But it hadn't, it didn't hit home yet, right, like, I saw it, I was like, that was cool, who's that guy telling everyone what to do, and they're just like, that's Peter Jackson, he's the director, I'm like, oh shit, that's cool. So what, he, he runs the show, and the parents like, yeah. I'm like, that's awesome. Uh, and then I watched Lord of the Rings, and the film changed my life. Like, the, to this day, my favourite film of all time, or films of all time, is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, I think they're masterpieces. They're 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 movies. In, all three of them. Uh, I don't have a favourite. They're all equally, one as one story, the best thing ever. So, seeing that, and then... As each one came out, I wanted to also watch the behind the scenes. I was addicted to them, so I, I didn't just watch the movies. I watched all the behind the scenes of all the movies as they came out, and I was obsessed, obsessed with it. And I was like, wow. And that's the first thing I saw. Not only the fact that I saw this, what was my favorite movie, what is my favorite movie, but then I got to see how it was made, and I'm like, wow, imagine making something that cool. And that's kind of what I dreamt about. I dreamt about making movies and telling stories in films. 
and make something that cool like they did in Lord of the Rings. That's what I always dreamt about. And the older I got, I started, you know, narrowing that down to realising, okay, that's, I want to be a movie director, I want to be a movie producer kind of thing, and then that kept going from there. Then I get, all through primary school, I said I wanted to do it. I mean, I was like, I also want to be a fucking famous rugby player and a chef at some point, but like, those were kind of just, you know, you're a kid, you want to do, be a fucking fireman and all that sort of nonsense, like, well, not nonsense, but yeah, you know what I mean. You change your mind of what you want to do all the time, but I always had on my mind, and I was always saying I want to make movies, I want to make movies. Uh, as well, there was always another dream. There was always a dream as well, as well, well, I had other things. But that stayed with me. And by the time I got to high school, I started doing, like, film subjects and drama and, you know, the artsy shit. Uh, and that's what I was kind of focusing on because I knew at university, I was like, I want to study film. That's what I want to do. I mean, through high school, I did lots of humanities subjects, heaps of them, you know, history and I... I did a lot of focusing on philosophy and religious studies uh, just for like some history knowledge and stuff like that because I just find that stuff super interesting. That's why I like Assassin's Creed partly because of that history and all that stuff. But then I was doing also, like I said, drama and film and TV classes and things like that. Uh, and it was all I ever wanted. I was involved in all like the theatre productions. I fell in love with theatre, not being like an actor, but I loved the helping ma make them and being involved in the production side of it. The same way I like the production of films, like you're helping... Uh, build and work in a team to ma create like this story and the difference with theater is it's so spectacular of an adrenaline adrenaline rush live like through high school i did i was our tech and sound and light guy for when i was in the ninth grade um i ran our production for yeah all that tech stuff and then i did stage managing when i was before I left, in my last production before I left, I didn't do the musicals because I wasn't that, like, that was like, yeah, I wasn't that into that, but, like, just the normal theatre, like, acting and shit, it was a good time. Anyway, um, but I also always made, like, little short films and s skits and shit like that through film class and obviously started a YouTube channel. That, to me, was all about getting experience to the goal of being involved in production. I considered theatre to be to be real at some on some level, but I knew that film was what I've always wanted to do. I knew I was going to be doing that. So ever since I stepped into high school, I knew what I was working towards. I was working towards a university course in film TV. I got to grade twelve, so my senior year of high school, and I realised living in Brisbane, there's not like a film industry or TV industry there, and I'm like. And everyone I talked to that I'd looked up to through high school that are going to do that as well, I'm like, oh, I wonder what they'll be like. I'll ask them what it's like. And as I saw people, they're like, oh, I've dropped out. Oh, I didn't decide not to do it. I'm like, why? Well, why? Well, there's no jobs, all this sort of shit. Um, and I'm like, oh, wow, so there's no work. What do I do? I can't give up. I don't want to do anything else. That's when I started to consider theatre and stuff because there's lots of theatre up in Brisbane. Um, but I was like, no, no, no. I, film's what I want. That's what I've always wanted to do. That's what I've been working towards. And I did, and I came down to Melbourne, which is actually where I was born here, uh, and lived until I was like two, then moved out to the country until I was eight, and then moved to Queensland, to Brisbane, where I lived until I moved when I was 19, um, before I started uni. So anyway, got to, where were we? Yeah, got to Melbourne to visit, and I was just visiting friends, and I spent like the day, at the time I was like 17, and I was, met up with one of my old friends, and we just walked around and he talked to me about like, oh, what uni course are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm struggling with it because I'm going to do film and stuff. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not much industry. I don't know if I can get a job. And then he's like, well, there's industry here. Why don't you work, come down to uni here? I'm like, oh, it'd be too expensive, too hard. Like, excuses, excuses, excuses. Things my parents had said to me when I'd mentioned it. What if I did that? What if I did this? You know, it's too hard, it's too much. Uh, I mean, they were being realistic, but at the same time, they obviously didn't quite know how much I wanted to do this that I would do it literally anything. So within that one day, we went around, checked out uni, checked out accommodation without telling my parents about this. And then I came back to them that night and I handed them a bunch of forms and said, this is what I'm gonna do. And they're like, uh, what? So I spent the next year and a half, finished grade 12, got into a course down in Melbourne that I'm doing, got into the exact course I wanted, the exact uni I wanted, and spent a year working, saving money, and then th through, so I gap year after high school, so from 18 to 19, I was just working, travel, I went to Italy and stuff, and just kept doing YouTube, kept doing what I was doing, and then, boom, ended up in Melbourne, and for the last two plus years, have been studying, and I'm now just started my final year of university uh, to do film, so that's like my main journey 
for all of this stuff. That's what I've always wanted to do. That's what I will be doing. And there's a lot of stuff I also love to do. Obviously, YouTube and running a business uh, is a goal, big goal of mine on a bigger scale than what this is. Who knows where this can go, though, is always the case as well. Uh, and... I mean, I love doing things like the radio and the podcasting and stand-up comedy and entertaining. Being an entertainer, not just behind the camera in film, but I also love being an entertainer. That's always fun to me. And I think I have a little bit of a personality, it seems like, from responses I get from you guys. So that's something I want to do as well. I don't just want to do the one thing like I grew up thinking. You can do a lot in life. You can do so much stuff. There's never a reason to limit myself, but... I've got a lot of goals for now, I've got a lot to work to, and obviously you don't go, you don't become a filmmaker by going to film school, and I knew that as well. Like, I don't, you just don't go study university course, not that it's just film, I do, like, it's an all-encompassing media course with radio, with online media landscaping, with, like, the, you know, film, TV, just general uh, production and stuff, so there's a lot to the course, it's not just a film, TV course, but at the same time, just to become a filmmaker, you don't go to film school, you make films, that's how you become a filmmaker. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do as well. And when I finish uni, I'm going to just keep kind of working the job I'm working now, which is, you know, steady, nice income. And then spend my free time making movies, get my name out there. And then from there, I start looking for, you know, the next step of jobs and work and where do I want to go. And then, you know, get some more experience under my belt. That's, that's the next step I see at the moment. There's no lockdown confirmed plan past mm, two years from now, I guess, to me. Anything can happen. A lot can happen. A lot can change. And it's exciting. But that's kind of how my journey's gone. And where I've, what I've, with what I've always wanted to do. Which is, you know, make movies. Plus do a bunch of other stuff. And I keep doing YouTube uh, for as long as I enjoy it. Which is, I mean, I enjoy it a lot. A lot, a lot. So, it's one of these cool things. So there's, there's that story. Now you guys know me a bit better. I think, I don't think I've told this before. Like in this way. I don't know. I've been doing YouTube for five years. You forget things you've said and talked about, but, you know, there's an update, I guess. Because um, I certainly haven't talked about it that recently, unless it's on Kill Connor Club, which, again, don't remember. But, yeah, that's uh, that's my story, guys. That's what the goals I've set for myself, why I do what I do. And I'm going to keep working for it, keep working hard. It's not easy. None of it, none of it has been easy. Like, once you, I got out of high school, I was like, i got to move, i got to work, i got to support myself and you so much happens and you do so much growing but I, I'm happy in the fact that through all the changes I've had in my life the one constant is I still want to make movies I still want to entertain people really I just want to tell stories and media and film and TV is and YouTube and all that stuff is the way I found to do it and I love to do it so whether it's in front of the camera behind the camera both this is what I'm going to be doing for hopefully until the day I die. Uh, so that's my story, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, with the the fun multiplayer gameplay, as always. Uh, so yeah, patreoncom slash as always one dollar. Uh, become a member. Anyway, after the plugs, uh, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it all this way, that's uh, very kind of you to hear this story and hear me blab on. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and for sure, like the video. And if you're new, for some whatever reason, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already yet. And uh, if you'd like bonus extra content, just head over to patreon.com slash as always for just $1 a month. You can become an as always member, get extra bonus podcasts with James Laces and myself, as well as early access to things like the Laces vs. Time of My Multiplayer Battle and any other collaborations and cool shit we do, plus plenty of other bonus rewards. Check it out, patreon.com slash as always. Anyway, guys, thanks again, and I will see you... For the next video, I believe tomorrow I'll be doing Assassin's Creed games all ranked. So that's my opinion. People have been asking for me to do this. I'm doing it. Look forward to it. I'll see you tomorrow.